my precious child, a term that conveys immense love, care, and a deep personal connection. This phrase alone holds a promise of divine affection and kindness, emphasizing that you are not alone in your journey. The relationship here is not distant, it's intimate and nurturing as a parent to a child. The core of this message is the assurance of being on the brink of your greatest breakthrough. This phrase is powerful and filled with optimism. A breakthrough represents a significant development or achievement, often after a period of effort, struggle, or stagnation. The term greatest amplifies this, suggesting that what lies ahead is not just an ordinary improvement or success, but the most significant one you have ever experienced. Being on the brink implies that this momentous change is imminent. It's not far off in the distant future, it's at your doorstep. This immediacy adds a sense of excitement and urgency to the message. It suggests that your struggles and efforts are about to bear fruit, and the wait is nearly over. This breakthrough could manifest in various forms depending on your personal circumstances, dreams, and challenges. It could be a major professional achievement, a significant personal growth, a resolution to a long-standing problem, or even a spiritual awakening. Whatever form it takes, it's clear that it will be transformative and hugely impactful. The assurance from God also implies that your current efforts and struggles are not in vain. It's a reminder that every challenge you're facing is leading you towards this significant breakthrough. This perspective can be incredibly reassuring, especially during times of doubt or hardship. It suggests that there's a purpose and a positive outcome to the difficulties you're enduring. This message also encourages faith and perseverance. Knowing that a significant breakthrough is close at hand can motivate you to keep going, even when the going gets tough. It's a call to maintain your faith, not just in the divine, but also in yourself and your journey. It's a reminder that patience and persistence often lead to great rewards. Preparation for this breakthrough is also implied in the message. Since you are on the brink of something significant, it might be prudent to ready yourself for the changes that will come. This preparation could be mental, emotional, spiritual, or practical. For instance, if you're anticipating a professional breakthrough, preparing by honing your skills and knowledge would be beneficial. If it's a personal transformation, working on self-awareness and emotional intelligence might be key. This message from God also suggests that you are being divinely guided and supported. The use of the word assures is significant. It's not just a hope or a possibility, it's a certainty. This divine assurance can be a source of great comfort and strength. It implies that your journey is being watched over and that you have a divine ally in your corner. Type I love you God. This message from God is profoundly uplifting and inspiring. It speaks of imminent, significant change and breakthrough that will be the greatest you've ever experienced. This promise encourages you to continue your efforts maintain your faith, and prepare for the transformative changes ahead. It's a reminder that your struggles are leading to something extraordinary and that divine love and kindness are with you every step of the way. The message invites you to embrace the future with hope, confidence, and readiness, knowing that something wonderful is just around the corner. 
God's message to you, my dear child, is filled with profound hope and a promise of a fulfilling life. The assurance of abundant wealth signifies not just financial prosperity, but also an abundance in various aspects of life, such as health, knowledge, and emotional richness. This wealth is not just material, but encompasses a wealth of experiences, relationships, and wisdom. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientist. The mention of harmonious relationships points towards a life enriched with meaningful and loving connections. These relationships, whether familial, romantic, or platonic, are harmonious, indicating a sense of balance, mutual respect, and understanding. The harmonious nature of these relationships suggests a life free from major conflicts, where differences are resolved amicably, and where love and support are the foundations. Finally, the promise of never-ending peace speaks to a state of inner tranquility and contentment. This peace is not merely the absence of conflict, but a deeper sense of fulfillment and purpose. It implies a life where you are at peace with yourself, your decisions, and your place in the world. This kind of peace is enduring, not fleeting, suggesting a steady and lasting sense of well-being. These blessings, as promised by God, indicate a life of overall prosperity and joy. The message encourages you to prepare for this life, implying that some action or readiness on your part is necessary. This preparation could be mental, emotional, spiritual, or even practical. It suggests a journey or a process of growth and development that you need to undertake to fully receive and appreciate these blessings. In preparing for this abundant life, you might need to cultivate certain qualities or habits. For example, to attract and maintain harmonious relationships, qualities like empathy, patience, and open communication could be essential. For acquiring and sustaining wealth, Skills like financial management, discipline, and a strong work ethic might be necessary. And for achieving never-ending peace, practices like meditation, self-reflection, and a positive outlook could be pivotal. Moreover, this preparation might also involve overcoming challenges and learning from life experiences. Challenges could come in various forms, personal setbacks, professional hurdles, or even spiritual tests. Overcoming these challenges would not only prepare you for the blessings promised, but also enrich your life with valuable lessons and insights. In summary, this message from God is an inspiring call to action. It is an assurance of a life filled with blessings and joy but it also emphasizes the need for preparation and growth on your part. By cultivating the right qualities, overcoming challenges, and learning from life experiences, you can align yourself with this divine promise and embrace a life of wealth, harmonious relationships, and enduring peace. In this profound and motivating message, God addresses you as my dear child, immediately establishing a tone of affection and closeness. This phrase, filled with tenderness, suggests a divine relationship that is nurturing and supportive, akin to that of a loving parent. It sets the stage for a message that is both personal and significant. Central to this message is the idea of financial independence, 
This concept is crucial in today's world, where financial stability and freedom are often the bedrocks upon which other aspirations are built. Subscribe to channel if you believe in Jesus. Financial independence means having sufficient resources to live comfortably without depending on a regular paycheck or external financial support. It's a state where your assets generate enough income to cover your expenses, allowing you a degree of freedom and security that many aspire to. Odds assure us that financial independence is within your reach is immensely encouraging. This phrase suggests that this goal is not just a distant dream but a realistic, achievable target. It implies that the path to financial freedom is accessible and that the efforts you are making are leading you in the right direction. This message instills hope and confidence encouraging you to continue striving towards this objective. The significance of financial independence is further highlighted by its implications allowing you to pursue your passions and provide the best for your family. This part of the message underscores two key aspects of financial freedom. Firstly, the ability to pursue your passions is a powerful aspect of financial independence. When you are not constrained by financial necessities, you have the liberty to engage in activities that genuinely fulfill and excite you. This could mean dedicating time to hobbies, investing in personal projects, or even changing careers to something you are more passionate about. Financial independence opens doors to opportunities that might have been impractical or impossible other ways. Secondly, the capacity to provide the best for your family is a profound element of financial freedom. This goes beyond just meeting the basic needs of your family. It's about giving them a quality of life that is comfortable, secure, and enriching. It could mean better education for your children, a more comfortable home, or the ability to support your family during unforeseen circumstances. This aspect of financial independence resonates deeply as it ties into the innate desire to care for and nurture your loved ones. The message suggests that achieving financial independence requires effort planning, and perhaps a change in approach. This might involve acquiring new skills, investing wisely, or developing a disciplined approach to savings and spending. It also implies a need for patience and perseverance, as financial independence is typically a goal achieved over time, not overnight. Moreover, this message from God carries an underlying theme of empowerment and responsibility. It encourages you to take control of your financial situation and make decisions that align with your long-term goals. It's about being proactive in creating a stable financial future, not just for yourself, but also for those you care for. This divine assurance also serves as a reminder of the broader implications of financial independence. It's not just about accumulating wealth, it's about the freedom and opportunities that wealth can provide. It's an invitation to envision a life where your financial situation supports and enhances your ability to live fully, pursue your dreams, and provide for your family in the best way possible. In summary, this message from God is a powerful affirmation of your potential to achieve financial independence. It's a reminder that this goal is within reach and that the journey towards it is both worthwhile and fulfilling. 
the promise of financial freedom is not just about wealth accumulation, it's about the ability to live life on your terms, pursue your passions, and provide the best for your family. This message is an encouragement to stay focused, make wise financial decisions, and keep striving towards a future where financial stability and personal fulfillment go hand in hand. In this heartfelt and profound message, God addresses you as my dear child, immediately set in a tone of deep affection and care. This endearing term reflects a relationship of profound love and nurturing, akin to that between a parent and their child. It is a reminder of the special bond that exists between you and the Divine, filled with unconditional love and understanding. The core of the message is a simple yet powerful statement God wants you to know that He loves you. This is a direct assurance of Divine love, a reminder that, regardless of the circumstances, you are loved by God. This love is not conditional or based on merit. It is a constant, unwavering force in your life. The significance of being loved by God cannot be overstated. This divine love is all-encompassing, pure, and without judgment. It is a love that transcends human understanding, a love that offers comfort, hope, and strength. Knowing that you are loved by God can be a source of immense peace and reassurance, especially during challenging times. This message implies that God's love is ever-present, even if it might not always be felt or recognized. There are moments in life when you might feel alone or forgotten, but this message reaffirms that God's love is always there surrounding and embracing you. It's a call to remember this love, especially in moments of doubt or despair. God's love is also a foundation for self-worth and value. Being loved by God means that you are precious and significant. This divine love is a reminder that you have intrinsic value, not because of what you do or achieve, but simply because you exist. It's an affirmation of your worthiness and a call to see yourself through the lens of this unconditional love. Furthermore, this message encourages trust and faith in God's presence and care. Knowing that you are loved by God is not just a comforting thought, it is a foundation upon which to build your life. It invites you to trust in God's place for you to believe that you are being guided and supported, even when the path seems unclear. The love of God also inspires and empowers. It's a force that encourages you to grow, to be the best version of yourself, and to extend that love to others. This divine love is not just a personal experience, it's a call to action. It asks you to be a conduit of love, to show compassion and kindness, and to reflect the love you have received to those around you. Additionally, this message is a reminder to seek and maintain a connection with the Divine. God's love is a constant invitation to engage in a deeper, more meaningful relationship with the spiritual realm. It's a call to prayer meditation, or whatever form of spiritual practice resonates with you, to strengthen that bond and feel the presence of this love more profoundly. This assurance of divine love also suggests a perspective of gratitude and positivity. Recognizing and appreciating God's love in your life can transform your outlook, helping you to see the beauty and blessings in your life even amidst difficulties. It's an encouragement to focus on the positive and to live with a sense of gratitude and joy. In summary, 
This message from God is a profound affirmation of divine love. It's a reminder that you are deeply loved by God, a love that is constant, unconditional, and transformative. This love is a source of comfort, strength, and inspiration, inviting you to trust in your worth, embrace your divine connection, and extend this love to others. It's a call to remember that no matter what happens, you are cherished and valued by God, and this love is a fundamental truth upon which to build your life. In this inspiring and hopeful message, God addresses you as my dear child, a phrase that speaks of a deep, personal connection and immense affection. This term, filled with tenderness and care, sets the tone for a message that is not only uplifting but also deeply personal, as if spoken by a loving parent to their child. The heart of this message is the promise of a new season in your life, a phase that is markedly different from what has passed before. Type 222 if you trust God.